hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with tower of god episode number six okay in the previous episode uh yoru kind of like went berserk and uh, for a little bit and uh, black march came to her uh, to his rescue and uh, i think she kind of like uh I don't know what she did but uh, like she kind of stopped the time and everything and then like uh, calmed him down with a kiss and uh, and he's currently I don't know what like uh, he's in a hospitalized and uh, Rahel uh, showed her face in the previous episode and and what else uh, yeah that was it like uh, the thing was like uh, Yoru was kind of went berserk and uh, we saw what she he can do if he gets like uh, <laughs> if he snaps and that was uh, and whatever that happened was not pretty and uh, <laughs> i don't know what else to say yeah and that was the previous episode it was quite exciting and let's see what this episode has to bring and uh, yeah let's get started uh, i'll be putting the timer and the subtitles over here sync it to which if it's your preference and let's get started Okay, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let me. Hmm. Okay. Like uh, I uh, like I'm seeing this this uh, character Yoru has a lot of what do you call it, mystery surrounding him, like why he like he's an irregular first of all, uh, and then then after that like we don't know anything about his past. Why the hell was he underground? And uh, what else? Like why is he so powerful? And all of these things like he must have a past which is it's like uh, something uh, what do you call it pivotal or something like which is very important past like i'm thinking like he might be some kind of a great warrior in the past or something and uh, might have forgotten everything because of amnesia or something i don't know like these are all my what do you call it <laughs> guessing and uh, guesswork <laughs> and uh, let's see Hmm. Okay, this is when Rahel was teaching him. Yes, stars. Oh, that is why he's called Yoru or something. Okay. Okay. What? Wait, he he saw you. So Hmm. Um, kind of get what is she's saying, but still, like, that's not the reason. Um, oh, that's rock. I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> He's trying to eavesdrop or something? <laughs> oh god, a Sunday crocodile. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, 
Wait, like all these weapons are the same? They want like men? Um, okay, <laughs> well, oh, that is Black March, oh my god, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought that was a green April, okay, yeah, yeah, who is this? Fisher man Imposter Self indulgent Wait, did she take the chocolates? What the hell, Rahel? <laughs> and he'll ask about Rahel, surely. Oh, he, he he's trying to like cover it up, Riles. Sank position, okay. Hmm, understandable. Fisherman, okay. The Yuri, which close quarters and harder. Okay, okay. Spirit bearer. Hmm. Light bearer. Rather no. Okay, kind of like the scout. Okay, yeah, this is a scout. Okay. Wave controller. Support and control. Shields. Okay. Hmm, okay. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, he can, he's the only one who can use Shinsu. Okay, that is kind of fortunate. Okay, yeah, like Um, I don't think he's going to buy that <laughs> Oh my god Mikhail Light. Wait, okay, then that is a like name, fake name.
Hmm. Yep. And Rak doing his thing. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. What the hell is this? Contract on each floor. <laughs> what? Okay, um, oh my god, that is terrifying. What, what is this, like some kind of dragon? Contract formed, 2F. Like the second floor's uh, administrator or something. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's that girl, isn't it? Oh yeah. Hmm. Ho. Oh. Laude. Laude. Uh, okay. Hmm. Weak? Um, I doubt that heavily. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what is he? Some kind of... Oh my god. This guy is... Oh, let's see. Damn, that's some impressive aim. Oh my god, it's that guy. This <laughs> went. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Request. Wait, uh, why is she not giving back that uh, 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 Yoru's weapon, Black March? Wait, is she like uh, suffering from some kind of inferiority complex? Like, is that the reason? Oh, 
Okay, you should probably fix your diet. Like, only rock can live on those chocolate bars. Endor C, okay. Her name is Endor C. Wait, that's that's the training or something? Yeah, like give that back. Like what the hell? Eh? Wait, wait, where did she go? Like she she ran away with those weapon? Ugly earring. <laughs> um, that's that's fashion. That's called fashion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't think he, he Wait, she has a horn. I I saw that now. And here she is. Um the weapon please. Okay, yeah. Yep. Um Oh my god. Well, yeah, that that's kind of correct like Not really her sister. Oh, okay. So they're not blood related, like. Okay, that is like. <laughs> Short and simple. <laughs> oh. Wait, what is she doing? Like taking food? Mm. Well, that's an understatement. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh my god, she's coming. Okay. <clears throat> well, that is kind of correct by the explanation. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he did it. Well, his training bore fruit. Hmm. Oh my god, this this guy I, I'll talk about this later on. Show selector granted the green oh my god wait oh yeah oh. she's dead like Oh, that's why she's calling her an imposter or something? <laughs> okay. Well, that was easy. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh. Anna it's orphan. Oh, so like she was, she was the princess and like, okay, okay. Part of misfortune, my niece, oh, okay. What? Chicken pie? Sisters. Huh? Okay, revenge. Okay, so that was this episode. Her intentions became clear here, like uh, why her excessive hatred and everything. So, 
yeah okay let's talk about this episode um let's see uh first okay first we see that uh, little flashback between uh, <coughs> What is the name? Yeah, Rahil. Rahil and Yodu. And uh, here we can see like she was saying that the uh, stars are beautiful and the night sky is beautiful. And at that time she kind of said uh, Yodu. And I think like uh, that is why he is called Yodu or something like she. Uh, because she truly really liked the night sky and uh, wanted to see the stars. She uh, named him Yodu. I think that is like uh, it. And uh, like like she's she's trying to hide everything and like i don't know there must have been some kind of reason i really don't like no one gets it at this point like why did she as it's just she said that she ran away from yoru uh, because she wanted to uh, climb the tower and um, another thing we also see later on like uh, when she was like uh, alone uh, at her room and she was thinking about yoru and everything and uh, in her mind she was thinking about all his friends and everyone and he was left uh, she was being left behind and now i'm thinking like is she uh, like not she also said that we'll become weak if we uh, stay together um i kind of get that kind of, I, I kind of get it what she's trying to say that uh, they will be each other's liabilities or something like that but uh, the reverse is also true like you can become uh, the other strength uh, so i don't get that kind of reasoning but uh, the other thing is that uh, i can understand if she's like uh, uh, suffering from inferiority complex and thinking like yeah uh, yoru has so many friends and she is and uh, he is like so many uh, surrounded by so many people and everything so uh, when uh, sh he was alone he needed me now he doesn't need me or something like that but that does not explain her initial reason for like uh, venturing out to uh, climb the tower like if uh, inferiority complex was the uh, problem here then uh, why did she like uh, leave him alone at the first place so that also does not uh, explain that reason so i think like there are a mixture of problems in her head like inferiority complex is one portion of the problem and there must be some other kind of problem as well i don't know what it is but uh, like she is really trying to hide her identity from yoru like uh, she is and uh, i doubt yoru believed kun because he was like in front of her and he saw her getting get, uh, hurt so I doubt Yoru believed Kun, but he respected Kun's like what do you call that? Uh, he respected Kun's decision to uh, for that white lie. Like he understood what Kun was trying to do, uh, and uh, he also kind of I think understood that Rahel also did not want him to uh, like uh, what do you call it? Uh, want him to go and meet her and everything so that that's also the reason why he kind of like went in front of her door and decided to knock but stopped because uh, he remembered Kuhn's words that does she really want to see you and uh, like he also kind of respected her decision of not seeing her uh, of not seeing Yoru now so I think like uh, he thought that yeah let me become stronger and uh, let me become more capable then i would probably uh, go and meet her and that's also the reason why he's trying so hard so uh, to control his power and everything and uh, i think that kind of like sums up the problem i don't know the real reason behind her motives of why he uh, uh, why rahel kind of went out alone what is her actual objective but i can kind of like guess parts uh, of it so yeah and oh and apparently i forgot that uh, there was a bet like uh, uh, anak with anak and uh, yoru i forgot that bet so i thought why was she not uh, giving back that uh, black march so i forgot I, I com it completely passed my mind like uh, that what was that with that uh, bet so that was the reason why she is like has taken the weapon and uh, <laughs> yeah, like Black Punch <laughs> won't 
talk to any other person <coughs> and what else and uh, the uh, endorse is uh, real uh, what was it uh, what was that called real uh, god damn it um, she is a real uh, uh, princess that was revealed here she is the princess of Yahad so I kind of like guessed that correctly and it, it is obvious seeing her like she is definitely a princess of Jahat and uh, and we get got a little bit uh, of information about Yuri that she was a fisherman that is problem that is like the guy or person who uh, is like at the front of the battlefield uh, she kind of like uh, what do you call it? like uh, she's kind of like the main person who is mm, Who's like she's kind of like the leader or something like that like uh, the main uh, fighting is all uh, on her and uh, Yoru become became the wave controller now that is uh, that is kind of understandable because she uh, because he has the power for that Shinsu thing uh, to control that uh, even if that is incomplete and even if that kind of makes him berserk but still he has to like control it for future uh problems and uh what else oh and another thing is that i saw that rahel was like uh swiping food <laughs> like like uh, why like uh doesn't she have money or something like i saw her like taking uh defense must be it like uh rak kind of like went inside and did not find <laughs> his beloved chocolates and <laughs> i think rahel swiped them <laughs> I don't know why, like, uh, is she not getting enough to eat? And we saw that uh, uh, crumbs of uh, the packets and everything of chocolates uh, lying on her floor, room floor. So, and also we saw her, like, uh, swiping some um, apples. Uh, I don't know why that is it. Uh, does she don't have money or something? Um, anyways, like, uh, and uh, the... Uh, mission that they got like uh, was to make friends um, I don't know why that is a mission but okay like uh, <laughs> all right uh, it's understandable and uh, that contract thing uh, with uh, the uh, Yoru made a contract with some kind of I don't know dragon or something anyways uh, and uh, yeah uh what else rock <laughs> rock went for uh, some kind of self training and he was successful <laughs> and what else uh um oh and uh, the thing with uh, this guy like uh, the guy with yellow hair and one horn one red horn like he's like saying everything is like uh, saying things like we should become friends and it's better to be friends and everything but when he went inside his room he was like having a breakdown or something like uh, and also we saw that later on like when uh, Yoru was able to make that Shinsu water ball uh, very easily but he was unable to do it he like I think like he's also like a victim of inferiority complex and uh, does not show that and shows everyone that yeah I am better than that or yeah I am like um, I, uh, that I don't have any problems I don't uh, suffer from uh, anything I'm a good guy or uh, that kind of she kind of like uh, wears that kind of mask I think that is like the thing yeah and uh, usually uh, this kind of people's who like wears a mask in front of everyone and shows their good face in front of everyone <laughs> they are like uh, what do you call it uh, really uh, messed up emotionally in, in the inside and I think that this guy is also like suffering from some kind of that kind of problem and we were, uh, got to know about uh, there were a lot of things in this episode lot of information we also got to know that uh, Jahat's princes are not like uh, birth sisters uh, they are like some kind of officials who are like picked uh, from people who are exceptional and everything so uh, yeah, as uh, Endorsi said like we are uh, 
like brand uh, uh, branded things which are like uh, kept in front of the showcase to show everyone and um, what else and I'm thinking one thing like Israel is uh, Israel also one of those uh, princes of Yahats I don't know uh, we'll see uh, I, I'm just uh, guessing like from everything and um, <coughs> We got to know Anak's like true motivations here. Uh, we saw her like uh, being uh, extremely what do you call that? Uh, mm, being uh, extremely angry at everything and uh, not trusting anyone, anything. And we kind of got the reason why here because like of her past. And uh, we also got to know that uh, Anak's uh, mom, who was the real princess she was killed by the other princesses so her daughter who is now an orphan became a pin uh, took her position and has come here to take revenge i think that kind of sums up anak's situation and uh, yeah like um, and one thing like she, she said that uh, my um the other princesses killed my mom so i'm thinking that uh, endorsi was not one of those princesses because uh, because she wouldn't have been surprised by that and she would have known who she was if uh, she was the person who also gave her hand on uh, killing her mom so i don't think she was like involved must be some other princesses I think so like I yeah I get it what she was thinking like uh, my mom did everything for these people and these people kind of betrayed her so yeah kind of get it I guess it's, it's her mom like what else can she do except revenge and uh, this uh, reason of revenge is kind of just justified because like this is not something kind of this was like yeah my mom was killed by these guys so i'm taking a revenge but one thing that is not justified here is that if endorsi was not involved in that murder or that uh, she should not harm her because like you could uh, try and go for the people who harmed your mom who killed your mom but if uh, the other people who are not involved y you should not target that like um, this is like yeah uh, 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 whatever uh, th this is like yeah I got hurt by some kind of thing so I'm going to exterminate uh, that species altogether this is something like that and that is not correct but still like uh, like she was small at that time and I kind of get it like she has no other goal so she's clinging into that revenge thing as everyone does and um, yeah that was this episode there were a lot of things in this episode and uh, a lot of information everything I'm seeing if I have missed something or not uh, no I don't think I missed anything yeah that was it and let's see like um, like uh, the the uh, the show kind of went in a direction where like everyone is scattered like Yoru is doing one thing uh, Kun is doing another thing oh and also Kun kind of found um, some information about uh, Anak I think and, oh yeah th that must be the information that he found yeah, yeah, that was the information. I kind of forgot that that uh, he she was not the uh, she uh, was an imposter as uh, Indros is saying. Uh, that was the information that we found. Yeah, and uh, yeah, as I was saying, like uh, they are doing each other. Everyone is doing their own thing. Like uh, you're doing uh, Shinsu work, Kun doing his own work, Rak doing training and everything. And ultimately, they're, I think they're going to like come together and fight as a team so yeah i'm pretty much excited for the next episode and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys uh, thanks for watching this episode guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you haven't or you're new to the channel 
and uh, be sure to comment down below your opinions and thoughts about this episode and i'll be back with a new tower of god episode next week and uh, yeah this episode was pretty good uh, we got all the like uh, most of the information were kind of cleared up and uh, rahel's intention was also kind of cleared kind of cleared uh, there are still a lot of things we don't know but yeah okay so yeah as i say thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video of tower of god episode number seven yeah episode number seven uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day